What is going on everybody, Shri Kanasa here. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about exactly how you should be setting up your social media accounts for your Shopify dropshipping store. But we're going to be taking it a step further. We're going to be setting up your account so that you are fully appearing as a brand to your customers. Now you may be thinking, Shri, what's all the big deal about the branding? Why do we need to even do this? And why do we need to specifically apply it to social media accounts? Well, the reality nowadays is without a proper brand or at least a brand like feeling you're just not going to be able to be as successful as you could with Shopify dropshipping it is no secret that Shopify dropshipping is definitely saturated so in cases like this we want to find those ways where we can stand out of the crowd and setting up your social media accounts correctly and effectively to fully appear as a real brand will help you do just that and there's nothing really extra that you need to do just a few tweaks here and there and a few additions as you'll see from the video but before before jumping into the specifics and exactly how it is done, I want to go ahead and show you some examples of a few dropshipping stores which are currently the most popular ones. First of all, let's start off with the most popular one, which is BlueCrate.com. I've consistently talked about BlueCrate in a lot. Of Do check out some of those videos. But BlueCrate is a perfect example of a general dropshipping store that moved on to create its own brand. And while it doesn't have the most amount of followers on Instagram, it still does effectively well with its branding and with all of its advertisements. So right on their Instagram account, I want you to look at a few things. I want you to look at their logo and their About Us section, or as it is called, bio on Instagram. Instagram. When it comes to their logo, their logo is very, very simple and straightforward. There's no types of unique or interesting designs. It's just a blue background and then a little box with the weird shape and it says bluecrate.com. It is very, very simple, but yet this store does a consistently six figures per month. In addition to that, if we look at their bio, it says improving every day in a hilarious way. Right now, that is their tagline. And the second sentence in their bio is visit our website to see more amazing products. So tagline followed by a call to action. I'll give you guys an exact template as to what you should be following when it comes to your bio very shortly. But let's move on to our second Instagram example, which is Hygo Shop. Now, I just made a video on Hygo Shop recently because I know for a fact this store does roughly $200,000 per month. But if we look at their Instagram, again, only about 8,000 followers for the amount of sales that they do per month. This is a very, very low number. But nonetheless, again, their logo is very, very simple, white, plain background, followed by just the name of their store with a little cool present box emoji. So again, very, very simple. So by now you should be getting an idea of what these really popular general stores are doing, especially if you run general store yourself. But if we look at their description, it says our products are actually cool, useful, and fun. Want what we post? Visit our website at hygoshop.com. So again, a very quick and simple tagline followed by call to action. So the things I'm going over are actually parts of our template that you should be using. But moving on to our third and final dropshipping store example. And this dropshipping store actually does a little bit less in terms of sales than the other two. But this is one example where the description is not actually the best. Let's start off with the logo. Again, a very simple logo, a plain white background followed by just the initials of the store name, which is just MNML. But the problem is with the bio itself. So it says the best of the best online products. Free worldwide sipping. It's not even shipping. It's rather sipping. It's followed by over 100,000 happy customers in 2018. And that's followed by a little sale and a call to action. Again, the sale is most likely not true. But exactly what are the problems? Well, the first one is that they're just referring to their products as the best of the best online products. Whereas in the other two examples, we saw very interesting and very catchy taglines. And in Blue Chris example, they were improving every day in a hilarious way with their products. And with Hygo Shop, it was our products are actually cool, useful, and fun. So even though these web websites are low key, saying how good their products are, it is not like just MNML where they're just saying directly the best of the best online products. There's no kind of real emotion involved behind this sentence. And when it comes to writing good bios for your Instagram and Facebook social media accounts, you need to be including as much emotion as you can. Blue Crate did a perfect example of this with their tagline, but the second problem is with the spelling itself. Free worldwide sipping. If I were a customer and I saw this, I would not be willing to purchase from this website at all. When it comes to setting up your social media accounts, you need to make sure all of the spelling and everything is proper and in place correctly. Otherwise, you're just wasting money on ads 
and it's not going to really help you in any way. But in addition to that, the sentence free worldwide shipping, even if it was spelled correctly, isn't really giving up a great incentive for somebody to purchase. I mean, literally every store is offering free shipping nowadays. And in my last video, I actually talked about why that is bad. So do check that out. I'll leave the link in the description. But along with that, they have the over 100,000 happy customers in 2018, which is kind of adding authority. So it is good in a sense, but that is followed by 50% off sale today only. I mean, nowadays people are very aware that these kinds of sentences are very, very false. So just omitting this out of your sentence overall will really actually help you instead of harm you. But now that we've looked at their Instagram accounts, let's go ahead and go on over to their Facebook accounts because that is another popular social media account a lot of people use. And let's start off with Blue Crate. While for Blue Crate, Instagram was a good setup, when it comes to Facebook, they didn't do such a great job. And the main reason why I say this is because even though they have tons of likes on Facebook, for their about us section, they did not take the time to fill it out fully. As you can see over here, if you fill out the about us section with a little description about your store, it is usually shown here as well as on your homepage. But in Blue Crate's example, they were much more professional when it came to the videos, which is why they were successful. But nonetheless, you should always be as perfect as you can from all sides. And that means setting up your social media accounts correctly. So when it comes to the specific strategy as to how you should be setting up your about us section, I'll go over that in a second. But moving on to Heigo Shop's Facebook account, now this is a much better example than Blue Crates. Again, they have a very clear and simple logo followed by the cover photo, which is again their logo. And if we scroll down to their About Us section, they actually have a story, which is what I like. And their story talks about where they're based. It looks like they're based in Southern California and they ship worldwide. Even though they have a story, it's not the best because instead of talking about shipping worldwide and where you're located, you should be talking about how you benefit the customer's life. Because in the end, a customer only cares about himself. He does not give a single damn about where you are from and what you do and your history as long as you are providing value to them so keep that in mind but nonetheless Heigo shop is very popular on Facebook even more than blue crate in this case they have 145,000 likes but moving on to just MNML example and in this case they actually did a better job on Facebook compared to their Instagram account because as their logo they have a very simple logo clear and straightforward their cover photo is kind of confusing to me because they just have a laptop in a room which is not really clear as to what their store does and what it is about but moving on to their about us section they actually have a story but again mnml just talks about when they were founded what kind of products they sell etc but instead they should be adding more emotion and value and talking about how they provide this value to their customer but they aren't really advertising on facebook as you can see they only have two likes but now let's go ahead and go on over to our google doc to go over the exact strategies as to how you can perfect your social media accounts and get the most exposure possible to boost your Shopify sales and your overall success by a hundred times. So let's start off with the logo. When it comes to the logo, it is very, very straightforward that the logo is the main image of your brand. When somebody sees you on social media or somebody goes onto your website, the first thing they see on the top left, wherever you have your logo is the image itself. So when it comes to your logo, it needs to be very, very clear, concise and fit within the given dimensions of wherever you're posting it. For example, in the stores that we went over, Blue Crate's logo is very, very simple and it is concise because it just has the store's URL on it and it fits perfectly within these dimensions. Same thing with Heigo Shop and MNML as well, as you can see, very clear and straightforward. They did not do anything fancy, which is completely fine. Along with that, you need to understand that the more simple and straightforward it is, the better. Nowadays, people are just really going deeper and deeper into the technical stuff, trying to perfect everything when really that is not necessary at all. As long as you have something clear and concise and visible for the customer, you are ready to go. As you can see with the logos for these good Shopify stores. But one thing you need to keep in mind is that your logo somehow needs to express the message of your brand. In the case of Blue Crate, since it is a general store, you, as you can see, even their logo was very general. It is nothing specific or niche related or any of that fancy stuff. It is just simple and straightforward. Same thing with Heigo Shop, since it is a general store, their logo is general as well. In fact, they have a white background and a black logo, which is very super simple. And with MNML, the same thing, as you can see, they sell kind of all kinds of things. So in conclusion, your logo needs to match what your store does. If you're in a niche, your logo needs to kind of express your stuff related to your niche. If it is a general store, you can keep it simple like these stores over here. But that's mostly what you need to be doing regarding the logo. But the second important section on your social media account 
is your about us section. So what do you need to do when it comes to your about us section? The first thing that you need to have in place is a proper tagline and or story related to the brand and or how you can make other people's lives better. So I went over this earlier as to how all of these stores didn't really go into the emotions and how they can make other people's lives better, but they did kind of talk about their brand. In my own experience, having all three of these together really makes the biggest impact and puts you aside from the rest of the drop shippers out there because everything works on emotions. One thing I liked about Blue Crate on their social media account was that they had a very, very nice and straightforward and short tagline, improving every day in a hilarious way. From this message, a customer clearly knows what Blue Crate does. They improve people's lives in a funny way. And there's kind of no extra explanation needed from that. But even with Shop, their simple message was our products are actually cool, useful, and fun. So again, straightforward, tells exactly how it benefits a customer's lives. And with MNML, as I went earlier, there were some problems. But all three of these had problems with their Facebook accounts, which can be improved. But nonetheless, when it comes to the about us section, start off with your tagline and follow it up with the story related to the brand and also include in the overall paragraphs how you can make the customer's lives better. Having all three of these together again is the perfect mixture. But this should be followed by a call to action. As we saw on these examples, the second call to action was visit our website to see more amazing products. For Hi Go Shop, it was want what we post, visit our website, and the same thing with MNML. But those were the call to actions, and this is of course followed by the link, so you need to have the link at the very end and make sure that it is working properly. But when it comes to Facebook, you should be applying the same exact template as I have laid out here for the About Us section. Maybe you can leave out the link because when it comes to Facebook, you can directly implement the link right over here under this section. As you can see, they have highgoshop.com slash s. So you don't really need to have the link in the description itself. But this template is perfect for all people out there, whether you're dropshipping or whether you're trying to start your own brand. I highly recommend that you use this for dropshipping as well if you want to really stand out of the crowd and make the biggest impact when it comes to sales. But now let's move on to our third and final thing, which is actually making the posts. Because just having a social media account is not enough unless you are active on it. So if we look at Blue Crate, they consistently post cool videos and photos of the products that they sell. When it comes to Hygo Shop, they're also doing the same thing. And with MNML, they are also doing the same thing. Very simple and straightforward product photos only. So when it comes to the posts itself, one thing you want to do, and I'm finding more results with this nowadays, is to have your logo in the top left or right. If we look at Hygo Shop, they did it perfectly. As you can see, their video has a logo on the top right. And what this does is it gives your entire social media account and your store a very branded look. Hygo Shop is dropshipping, but they still look and feel like a real brand, which is why they're doing about 200,000 a month. So have a logo in the top left and right. And once you start posting your posts on the social media account, you want to stick to one theme. So if we look at Hygo Shop, we can see that they have one specific theme overall. Their videos aren't really that different from each other. If you look at this video, there's text on the top with emojis. Even in this video, there's text on the top and even in this video. So all of these are kind of the same theme with the logo on the top right and text on the bottom as well. And the theme itself you will find after posting consistently because you should be only using the theme which your audience is interacting the most with. But stick to one theme once you find it. And if your store is actually niche based, what you want to do is you want to post organic content related to the niche. In this case, since all of these were general stores, they posted only their product videos and photos. But in your case, if you're in a specific niche, for example, in the camping niche, what you should be doing is posting organic camping stuff like camping quotes, funny camping videos, top 10 camping tips, big celebrities in the camping niche, etc. All of these things to keep your audience interacting with you and engaged. So that is a general idea when it comes to the posts. Of course, you should be testing more things and trying to find more things that work for you because something that works for me may not necessarily always work for you. But this is a general, general layout as to what you should be doing. And this is a layout that works for me and people I work with as well. But if you found any type of value in this video, like always, smash that like button down below and smash that subscribe button if you haven't already to stay up to date to the videos I post every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And I'll see you guys next time.